If there are two things I love doing, it is creating characters and drawing art. And drawing art? What the fuck? <laughs> and doing art. But if there's another thing I like doing, is creating original characters. Now, I have a tons of character sheets that I need to update and work on. Because if you see the ones that I have currently, yeah. That is, that just shows the skill level I was at months ago. And I need to update those on the new knowledge that I have. But there's another thing why I want to do this. And well, I wanted to make an avatar for the channel and finally give it more of a persona per se. So I decided during December, during the end of December, I went and got a Colossal course. The course in question is from the concept artist, So Young. She is a very, very talented artist in the whole field of concept. She has amazing words from top to bottom, showing off the characters, their accessories, turnarounds, and the roughs. By the way, this is not sponsored, so yeah, <laughs> I'm just doing this because I I really want to show off if I can actually do this myself and make my own character from start to fucking finish. And why not buy and learn from a professional? So yeah, another thing she likes to go into is creating an illustration for that said character. So think about it like illustration for promotional work or for a game or just really showing off the style and the look of said character. And I'm going to be learning all of that in this video. Well, not really. I'm just going to be showing you all my process on how I went through all of this learning through this course. I'm just going to sprinkle in bits and pieces of what I learned and that's it. So let's get started on learning concept art from Soy Jean. Sorry if I butchered her name. Alrighty, so Soy Yum pretty much at the start goes goes and explains what the whole premise of what concept art is and the gist of it it's a blueprint that's really it there's more to it but i don't want to say it because i don't want to you know say everything about this course because that is mainly for you guys to find out if you go and check it out and buy it for yourself but the main gist of what concept art is is pretty much a blueprint letting whatever business or person wants to do with that said character so say like if you have a vtuber model it's going to be very you gotta make a concept sheet for the vtuber vtuber um rigger and modeler themselves to be able to convey that that means you gotta break up the pieces break up the design so they know like oh this is that this goes there it's shaped like this shit like that etc etc and another things that she talks about is three purposes you gotta think about it the proposal specifics and what the person needs and all those ties into what that whole design is going to be that ties in how the whole blueprint is going to be so what does the person want what are the specifics that they're going to be adding to that and what exactly is this needed for that's the thing what is this act what is what is design needed for what's this character for so that's what i'm doing with my character olita and what is my character's needs and what's the purpose the purpose well the new brand for the channel and i just want another a new character just to pretty much have my own brand and maybe become a v2 supermodel in the future who knows we'll see what happens but first i gotta design my character so let's start off with the simple three words an axolotl a knight and a swimsuit yep taking three simple words put those together and i gotta make a character out of them so that's what i did this is the first design i had for alita pretty much i added the knight aspect with the cape and the knight and like armored shoes and some armored plating a little and a little bit of armor plating too but not so much so that's kind of the knightly aspect i wanted to add and then the whole swimsuit aspect as well merging out with the knightly is pretty it's kind of confused it's a little confusing but also you can do like just have less clothing and that's what i did pretty much the whole axolotl aspect you know a little um frills i don't know what to call those the frills and the axolotl yeah i just added those on her hair and that's pretty much that that's the easiest way i'm gonna do it and i have also curled up the hair the hair on the back as well for the axolotl but this is just the first design again this is the this we're only in the beginning this is just a rough idea so why don't we make a couple more ideas because that is another thing that she proposes don't always settle on the one idea always have room to expand on your first design because in this first design there are still things like maybe i want to change the outfit or change up the hairstyle a little bit or maybe 
there's something I want to add about it. That's what, and that's what I do and make more iterations on the design until I think of something finalized. So that's what I do. Bada bing, bada boom. I create two others, changing up a few things, changing up the hair, changing up the shoes, maybe the outfit and the outfit. Stuff like that is the gist. And what is a knight without her swords? So I went up and drafted three swords and picked the third one because the other two are kind of the one first one was kind of short and too chunky for a sword. The second one was I was going with the direction with it, but still wasn't really what I wanted. I wanted more of a unique shape for the helm and the hilt of the sword and the bottom part of the sword. So I went with the third one. The third one just looks a lot cooler, in my opinion, for a sword design. So that's what I went. Now that I have a sword design and the character draft, now it's time to pick the colors for the character herself. So I came up and whipped up two different colors, a red palette and a black and yellow palette. I went with the second one why i just wanted something unique with the color palette. i don't know the black and yellow was really screaming to me the red one is nice that might be something i might use for later maybe that red palette might come in handy in the future who knows but i just much prefer the yellow and black with swimsuits it always works well especially with the char character of her skin tone being brown brown i just like it it just works well with black and yellow so that's what i went with so now that we have the character her colors picked the weapon draft it is time to get started with this character sheet so let's get started with that so i decided to start off with making a view where the cape has been removed off of the character because when it comes with these kind of character sheets it depends on how much you want to show like what do you want to show on the character do you want to show the character with no outfit on do you want to show the character with the armor on or off which is what i'm doing so i decided to start drawing her with the armor off and that's the gist of this view I took a pause on that view real quick and decided to say, you know what, I'm just going to work on the sword. I think if I get the accessories first out the way, then I can put all my full attention to the character themselves. So you can see I'm using the symmetry ruler. The symmetry ruler for this character sheets, concept sheets, is your best friend because you want to make sure everything is correctly shaped and even. Well not, well, not everything should be, not everything should be even if it has to be or needs to be. Just make sure that if there's curves or bends or for a certain shot side of the area area is different you turn the symmetry ruler on and off for that so i turn off so i turn on and off here i make the design for the sword putting a pattern on it the colors i kind of just went with what i from the what i got from the character and that's that's how i made the colors for this sword i didn't know what to really do for the sword colors so i decided to say go off go the color palette off of the character so this is the this is it And here's a point where I had to make the 
pretty much the side view. I made the side view for Olita and I had to think how am I going to do this because this is actually something I've never really I don't really do much is showing the full side view of the character so you can see me adjusting moving the character's head back and forth making guidelines and points on where to put the character. There, There's a lot of stuff that goes into the side view since one it is something I'm not used to and two I just didn't fuck know what to do. I legit was confused while doing this the entire time just trying to get the destruction out the proportions and everything so i was like hold on let me just let me just chill out let me relax let me look at this think this through i can get this correctly i just need to make sure the guidelines that i made are pretty much pointed on and off not pointed on and off are accurate and they're going what i what was the better word i should say matching up what i've made and if in a little bit you'll see me adjust the size of the whole thing or just move everything around entirely but <laughs> you'll you'll get the sense of what i'm doing as i as you'll see in my progress is that I there's a lot of changes and shifting I did during the side view because this is a view that I am not used to doing and I'm going to be doing a lot more for these characters if well if I want to continue doing this so yeah.
If you're wondering why everything is in color now, uh, I forgot to record. <laughs> I forgot to record that part, some of my steps. Yeah, when you're doing this for the first time, like making a full length video on your process, there's going to be mistakes and fumbles, but that's how it goes in the world of creating. So as you can see, I'm doing the colors. I pretty much got the overall shape down. I'm adjusting stuff as I go, showing up and moving stuff around. I'm moving around this eye a bit because it didn't look quite right in this angle. This is the angles, like I said, not used to, and I'm just adjusting the face a bit here trying to push it in push stuff out make this make this kind of larger make this here and there colors all that jazz this is all going to be shaded like a little bit as i go on but This is the next phase, which is the back view. And at first, I was kind of questioning the back view because with the back view, you have to make sure it's the same size. Everything has to be the same with the front and the side. Well, not the yeah, and the side view. Again, making sure everything is similar because if it's not, it's going to look odd. There might be some stuff kind of odd with it. But you can see me right now. I pretty much went with the capeless version since you don't need the cape if there's difference in the back. So that is important to see if there's anything going on behind there. And there is a point where I do make the cape separately to see how it looks and fares so right so right now i am making the back back of the head trying to structure out the back itself cutting off parts like <clears throat> the front part of the breast because all this front stuff i have it here but i can keep it because all i have to do is just turn it around like turning the like create back on the knees back in the arms back of the hands all this stuff will be turned around and that's all i need to do because most of the stuff is just literally like i said just turning around the body that's all it is do i know how to make a butt do i know how to make a back do i know how to make the back of the hands and the back of the feet that's pretty much how this is going to be do i know how to make the back view of all these and i kind of do at the same time kind of don't because i do struggle with hands here so i had to take some references look at my hands and another thing make sure you reference the hell out of these hands because holy shit i didn't back hand back of the hands is uh pretty hard i did show off me like video wise of me doing hands and getting hands sort of good but yeah sort of sort of and like passable but i'm still practicing but they're they're a tough nut to crack they are a definite tough nut to crack but i will get better at them promise you i promise you later on you'll have you'll see that i drew in the tail where the tail is going to be because i am not drawing this big tail to show off the back i want to show off if i'm showing off the back that means i gotta show off again legs but everything back of the feet and if i have this big tail just swinging around how are people going to notice what is going on the back so i made a little um entrance not entrance little back part for the tail to pop out the suit
Then I move on to basic shading, which is pretty much cell shading with this. Again, with concept sheets, it doesn't have to be flashy. Concept sheets aren't meant to be super flashy. They're meant to show off the blueprints, the base of all, base of how everything looks and works. So I don't need to go too crazy with lighting or shading. I'm pretty much showing off where wood shadows be. Just little parts of the shadows. That's, that's all it is. Just little parts of the shadow. I don't need to go super crazy like how I would with an illustration with, again, lighting, the shadows, the colors being crazy all that i'm not gonna do that here i'm, I'm gonna do that when i make an illustration and also i forgot to say this earlier but the whole illustration part i will not be doing that in this video i should have said this earlier and gave a little warning and said this earlier about the video because i said i was gonna do also the illustration part in this video but this is mainly a concept art video and i, I don't want to do the illustration part yet until i feel a little more comfortable with my illustrations and explaining my process how i'm gonna do a thing again if well not again but if you guys want me to do an illustration process illustration process of how i do things just leave it down in the comments and and i guess just tell me if you want or not just say i would like to see your process and illustrations it would be interesting interesting to see so boom all you got to do is leave a comment and i'll think about it but anyways i'm doing simple shading on all these literally all of them and i do a little trick where i just copy and paste the shadows from the front to the next thing because that's what it literally is for the front part of this is it's the same pose same everything it's just the armor's gone and all i have to do is sh shade erase some parts of it so i did that i did that again for the cape that i drew separately later that you'll see and that's how i pretty much get all that kind of stuff in there too because you also want to be efficient with this there's also another thing she said efficiency and time saving because you will be on deadlines for these if you take commissions from clients you're gonna have your deadlines and you want to make sure and learn how to do this stuff in a good fast fashion you want to be good and fast at it but you also also wanna make sure it looks good and professional so make sure you learn how to balance those two out learn how to balance out being quick and efficient but also professional looking and it's still of high quality
and this is where i pretty much did the cape and copy and pasted the shadows and all that stuff and i went through and changed up changed some stuff up erased it to show yeah these are actually the correct way how the shadows be placed and quotation mark correct way because i'm still working on shadows and lighting and color and all that but hey I, <laughs> nobody checking me right now <laughs> nobody checking me at the moment but i erased some stuff i got rid of layers i changed stuff up around with this so to show this is what it looks like there are ribbons and frills coming off of it and how the armor looks as well all that jazz all that jazz again show what you want to show and make sure it is correct the way you want it to be that is how i'm doing it and that's how it's so young to explains it and tells you and also take your time with this take your time even though there is a timeline uh, not timeline even though there is a time limit for commissions and stuff you have like five depending it all depends on what you're doing if it's a high design high effort design then yes <sighs> take your time and be efficient with it as well but if it's a personal personal project like i'm doing i can take all the time in the world take all the time in the world for this to make it look good and it's all on your preferences on what you pick and i pretty much finalized everything when it came to this cape and is this design and then the gem the gem on it too i put the earrings on top because it just signify like yeah those are her earrings on her on her ears I I did some final touches on this with the pretty much the display in the background to show this is a aquatic character this character thrives in the water and it is an axolotl and then bada bing bada boom i think everything is done here that i'm doing i think i just went and like messed around and tried to just change around stuff to see if it looked good or not but it in actuality it didn't i just kept the white background which is much better and there you go with a completed character sheet we have olita this was a very interesting course to take it definitely opened my eyes on character designing and the whole concept theory of character concept theory design theory and all that jazz it pretty much told me and showed me how to do these kind of things because originally my i like i had the eye for some of my characters i know what they want to be i know how i want to make these characters my execution i just didn't know how to really do it but see but after this course i definitely recommend this to people who want to do concept art and who need a little more thought and theory on how this whole stuff works because it is it can be confusing at first but once you dip your toes into it it's not that bad and again well not again but thank you to the people who sat down and watched all the whole video through i much appreciated this video took a while to make because i don't edit videos like this these high powered knowledge type educational videos i've never done this before this is my first one and i wanted to do this for fun and i wanted to show you guys my process i guess like what i'm doing and plus i did say this year i wanted to do more art challenges and i can technically call this a challenge because this is me pretty much creating a whole ass new character not just for the branding but also wanting to test out of my knowledge and what i've learned but again thank you guys 
guys for watching and i'll see y'all in another video another thing and one last thing let me know in the comments if you do want to look a video on how i illustrate my stuff illustrations and if you do leave it down in the comments and i'll see y'all later Bye bye